Hello and welcome to Curry TV. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to make spicy chili calamaries. So let's take a look at all our ingredients we'll be needing for this. I got two cloves of garlic, half of a green bell pepper, half of red bell pepper, half of a red onion, spring onion, two stalks. I got some soy sauce, ketchup, chili paste, desiccated coconut, dried coconut. I got three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one and a half tablespoon of rice flour. This is garlic salt and half a teaspoon of onion powder. The garlic salt is one and a half tablespoon. It, it always varies. If you feel that that is too powerful for you with the saltness, then reduce that quantity. And of course, last, we will be using a little bit of sugar to balance all the flavors together. Now I have, this is our tamarind water. I've already showed you how to make your own tamarind water. So follow those instructions. I have about one and a half cup worth of uh, tamarind water ready to go to mix our batter. So first off, this is two pounds of calamaries all clean and ready to go. So to that, we're gonna make a big batter. So into this all-purpose flour, I'm gonna add in our rice flour, our garlic salt, and our onion powder. Give it a good mix. Okay, and into a different mixing bowl, we're gonna mix in our tamarind water along with all the dry flour and um, onion powder and garlic. Now we're gonna slowly add our tamarind water to this. Make sure there's no lumps. We're looking for a thick batter so that um, calamaries will stick on. Okay. So as you can see, this is nice thick batter. I only used half of what I've prepared. And what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna make a workstation ready for myself. So in the meantime, let's turn on our stove and have some oil heating up. So we are deep frying all our calamaries. So for that, I'm gonna turn up my heat to medium high. So our pan is nice and hot. I'm gonna pour in some oil. This is vegetable oil. If you prefer canola oil, you can use that too. First off, we're gonna take one at a time dip it in our batter and then coat it with our coconut and place it on the plate and once it's ready we have a whole bunch ready we can place it it'll cook fa much faster so i'm going to show one this is one see and so just shake it around and using a fork i'm just going to get it out Now this is good on its own. You can have serve this, deep fry it, and serve it as french fries or calamari fries. You can serve that. I'm just gonna take this and do the next step. So let's do the rest like that. All right, our oil is nice and hot. So I am going to reduce it, otherwise it will burn really fast. It also has its tendency to pop because it's calamaries. So I'm reducing it to medium. And then I'm going to place one at a time. Okay. 
So wait about two to three minutes and then it should be coming off the oil. Okay, so these are ready to come off out of the oil. See, they're nice and golden color. Okay, we are ready to place our second batch in. Now, I am not going to be cooking it completely through because I'm going to make uh, chili calamaries out of this. So it's going to go back on the stove. So I'm just going to cook it halfway through. That's why I'm just waiting for. In the meantime, I'm going to get my rest of the batch ready. Okay, so I just finished deep frying all our calamaries. It's all ready to go. Onto the same pan, I have cleaned out all the excess oil. And I'm going to start fresh with a little bit of vegetable oil. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Okay, the oil is nice and hot. So in goes in our two cloves of garlic. It's finely chopped. For chili chicken, for chili beef, anything like that, garlic flavor enhances the chili chi flavors more. So that is good. Now we are going to add in our half of a red onion. Let's saute this. So at this stage, we're going to add in our bell pepper. This is half of a um, green bell pepper, half of red bell pepper. All those goes in. Let's give it a good mix. We're making this nice and bright color for curry. You can serve this with a fried rice or any of those types. Okay, next goes our soy sauce. This is dark soy that I'm using. This is one tablespoon of dark soy. Next, I'm going to be using nice thick chili paste. So I'm going to use one. So I already measured out. This is two uh, tablespoon of chili paste. Let's give it a good mix. Mm. Smells so good. Okay. Let's add in a good one tablespoon of ketchup. At this stage, just to balance all those flavors together, just add in a pinch of sugar. And taste it before you add your salt. So I feel there's, we need a little bit of salt in there. Okay, our dish is almost ready. All we gotta do is put all our calamaries in and give it a good toss. and. Top it off with some spring on it. Now, if you don't like to have it as a chili calamari, you can even have it just as it is. Dip it in some ketchup or um, ranch, or it tastes even better. Just try that. Okay, as you can see, our calamaris are all done. Give it a taste test and see where it is. At this stage, I'm going to top it off with two stalks of spring onion. And turn off the stove. All right, there you guys have it. Our chili calamaries are ready. You can serve this with fried rice. It's a great compliment to go with it. Try this recipe out and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.